octanoic acid. All right, we're looking at this one excerpt from the full study. Now, this is amazing in regard to medium chain triglycerides. In particular, I wanna focus on 8C, a carbon octanoic acid of that MCT group. And also take away the main term, acetyl coenzyme A, because that is the main outcome that this one particular medium chain triglyceride yielded fairly rapidly. In fact, it raised acetyl coenzyme A levels within an hour after injection. Now, keep in mind this is an animal model. So we're looking at, it's basically this, that this injection of 8C, this particular MCT, basically raised cardiac function or improved cardiac function by 40%. Now that's the takeaway from this one particular line. Now keep in mind, this is an animal model. These results have to be replicated in obviously individuals or humans. Now, also too, what we're looking at here is the researchers are exploring. So think of this research as exploratory, as an animal research. Basically, if someone comes in with, let's say in this case, ischemia, reperfusion, myocardial infarction, heart problems, then they could basically help alleviate any potential negative outcome fairly readily with potential injection of this form of MCT, a carbon octanoic acid. Now, again, keep in mind it's an animal model, but still just the same, pretty, pretty amazing overall. So that's what they're trying to do. Now, I know the questions are gonna rise also too. Well, what if I took MCTs on a daily basis, so on and so forth, would that give me heart protection uh, whatsoever? And also too, if MCTs work that well and are raising the acetyl coenzyme uh, A levels, how would that help with my energy levels throughout the day, especially potentially if uh, susceptible to fatigue or strain or duress or so on and so forth. That's outside the scope of this particular study, but yet very, very good questions, just the same because you could draw a potential correlation, even though without the proper studies, it's difficult to draw a causal relationship between that. But still, let's get right into the research as follows and read this one excerpt. Then we're gonna go into the public release. As we begin, these results indicate that 8C significantly improved cardiac function by approximately 40%. That's from the full study. All the links for you to go to that as well, which is fully published. Great study. Quote, now into the regular public release. Treating heart attacks with a medium chain fatty acid. A medium chain fatty acid found in energy drinks my one day help protect against heart attack injuries. Cotton basic researchers stated they were able to protect against heart attack injury in rat models, animal model, with octanoic, octanoic acid and a carbon medium chain fatty acid, as well as a few other metabolites. Those fatty acids produced, key takeaway ter term here or substance, acetyl coenzyme A, a building block for energy metabolism, which is stressed heart desperately needs. And this is where the questions are gonna come in regard to feed, fatigue, endurance, feed, yeah, and so on and so forth. But you can see where the mind can lead into different fields of curiosity in regard to uh, the potential of oct octanoic acid or MCT, 8C. Now, this is what they're trying to research. They're looking for basically like an emergency treatment or uh, basically an intervention where they could reduce the potential for any further negative outcome in regard to a hospital emergency room setting. To proceed, the idea is that a physician would administer this therapy to a person once they arrive at the hospital after having a heart attack to reduce further injury and improve heart function during recovery. Now we'll cover the dosaging in reference to the animal model, which I think was 160 milligrams per kilogram, but keep in mind this was an injection into the abdominal cavity. Now, also too, the takeaway is this. The duration was very short, some cases three days, some cases just one injection, but the outcome was quite fascinating. In fact, as we read down in a couple of seconds, you'll recognize that basically recognize, you'll see from the study that this injection raised acetyl uh, coenzyme A levels by 50% in less than an hour. 
at least in the case of ischemia or perfusion. Or, you know, you'll see we, we're, as we go to it, it'll make become a little clearer. But before it gets clearer, I'm going to read the abstract because there's some valuable information in that abstract, although be it a little technical, but let us proceed as follows. Myocardial infarction, MI, is accompanied by severe energy deprivation. So here, this is where it comes, the energy part comes into play, and extensive epigenetic changes. However, how energy metabolism and chromatin modifications are interlinked during myocardial infarction and heart repair has been poorly explored. This is where the researchers come in. Here, quoting, we examine the effect of different carbon sources that are involved in the major metabolic pathways of acetyl coenzyme A synthesis on myocardial infarction and found that the elevation of acetyl coenzyme A by sodium octo octanoate, HC, MCTs, significantly improved heart function in ischemia reperfusion, ischemia, it's like a K, ischemia, reperfusion, rats. Mechanistically, HC reduced IR injury by promoting histone acetylation, in which in turn activated the expression of antioxidant genes and inhibited cardiomyocyte apoptosis. Furthermore, quoting, we elucidated that HC promoted histone acetylation and heart repair were carried out by metabolic enzyme medium chain acetyl coenzyme A dehydroxygenase, MCAD, and histone acetyl transferase, CAT2, suggesting that HC dramatically improves cardiac function mainly through the metabolic acetyl coenzyme A mediated histone acetylation. And you just love to hear that. Therefore, our study uncovers an interlinked metabolic epigenetic network comprising HC acetyl coenzyme A, MCAD, and CAT2A to combat heart injury. Now to the excerpt that we originally looked at in the very beginning. These results indicated that AC, about to say AC, that not AC, DC. These results indicated that AC significantly improved cardiac function by approximately forty percent. Now there are a lot of uh, gold tidbits throughout this full study itself, so the DOI citation is there for you to follow to, and maybe discover something that I didn't quite see but it's filled with so much great information that it, you could spend all day just covering it. But I just want to bring the highlights out to you to basically look at the potential in regard to octanoic acid, medium chain glycerides, HC. Together with the fact that HC can quickly enter cells, enter into cells and contribute to around 50% of acetyl coenzyme A in the heart at one hour after administration. Our results indicated that HC administration of the type of perfusion elevated acetyl coenzyme A production and histone acetylation levels and significantly improved both short and long term cardiac function after IR. Now, this is the dosaging in reference to the animal model, which I know people like to use as a reference point for a benchmark of the sodium octanoate. 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 Yeah, pronounce everything else, and I trip on that one. 160 milligrams a kilogram. And again, inject into the area basically of the abdominal organs themselves. But that is just amazing. Number one, primarily because, well, primarily because obviously medium chain triglycerides are a very common element found in a multitude of places of commerce, stores, online, so on and so forth. And it's normally used in reference to the supplement industry in something which helps aid in the impact of metabolism and henceforth endurance. But now turn a page. And if you look at the help and increase in acetyl coenzyme A, not only are you reconfirming the energy benefits of MCTs itself, you're also opening a whole new door to eventually, I should say, a powerful, powerful intervention. Uh, that can help in regard to heart stressors, heart ailments, or in heart attacks. And specifically, since heart attacks is still a leading cause of mortality along in the world, along in the world, proper English, in the world itself, something so simple, readily available, and easy to administer, can you imagine how many lives that it's the potential to save if, in this animal model, these results and this outcome are replicated in human trials. 
but still just the same incredible as always i know it becomes kind of repetitive but still every week it needs to be said gratitude to the researchers wonderful wonderful exploratory research um i hope yields uh great benefit in the future and two as always again we're still moving locations a little challenge in the lighting challenge in the sound but even more so just the same i am humbled that you, you. catch y'all next time see you then bye